All right, we've paired four CMS50 FWs with this laptop, and we've got the Bluetooth turned on. While we were at it, we renamed the ID of each of the four. You'll see user one, user two, user three, and user four. To monitor all four on the same laptop simultaneously, we'll open four instances of SPO2 Assistant. So first we'll open SPO2 Assistant, connect device, it'll scan for Bluetooth devices. You can see here it's picked up CMS 50FW user 1, user 2, user 3, and user 4. We'll select 1 and connect. We've got finger out data there. can uh, slide that on here and we'll start gathering data while we connect the other. We'll start another instance of SPO2 Assistant. We'll relocate the window a little bit here. We're going to have to fit all these on at the same time. Connect device. You can see the first one started to gather uh, data. So we're scanning again. Now we found two, three, and four, remembering that user one has already been connected. So we'll connect two. First thing you'll see is finger out. We'll uh, slide that on there. We'll start gathering data on two while I start up a third instance. I'm just gonna slide it down. I'm going to ask it to scan for Bluetooth devices again. You can see we've got the second user data now. So first user on the right, second user. Still scanning to connect the third. Now let me give it a refresh here. So you can see it's found user 3. Go ahead and connect to user 3. Alright. We'll, uh, go ahead and start, start our fourth instance of SPO2 Assistant. Move the window so we can see it working. There we found user four. We'll just connect to that. You see the finger out. We'll get that on another finger and start gathering data.